Fox Sports is proud to celebrate National Girls and Women in Sports Day today. For more information on how you can help lead the way to create opportunities for girls and women to play, visit NGWSD.org or use the hashtag NGWSD. For more on why we celebrate this day, we join Dave Benz in Cleveland. All right, Tom, thank you very much. Well, all month long, the Timberwolves are highlighting empowering women in sports at Timberwolves.com. And we here at Fox Sports North are fortunate enough to work with one very special woman who has ascended the ranks of live sports producer and major pro sports, our game producer, Vanessa Lambert. My name is Vanessa Lambert and I am the Timberwolves producer for Fox Sports North. My basic job on a broadcast is to be the traffic cop, attempting to manage the broadcast and keep everything as calm as possible. You can kind of plan storylines that you want to talk about throughout the game, but a lot of it is just reacting to what's happening in front of you. And so you have to be confident in the decisions that you make on the broadcast, good or bad. I think a lot of the, maybe the pressure that I may have felt, I put on myself that I needed to prove what I knew and that I could do it and that no one would make an excuse for me because I'm a woman. If you want to work in sports and you know you have a strong personality, don't be afraid to stick up for yourself. Don't take any crap from anyone. We love working with Vanessa, and if there's a woman you know that is worthy of being nominated, go to Timberwolves.com slash CityGirlCoffee to nominate a woman who you know who is empowered in the world of sports. And I'm with not just Vanessa Lambert on a nightly basis, but also Marnie Gilner regularly, yep. and now Lindsay Whalen into the mix as well. Ladies, it's great to work with both of you. And uh, Marnie, you've been in this a little bit longer in terms of the broadcast side than Lindsay right. has. How have you seen things change uh, in your time in the industry? Pretty significant because it's not rare to see a woman working men's sports anymore. And I remember when I got my first job in the business at KXMB TV 12 in Bismarck and being the first female there, and that was 1996, and having to answer the question all the time, what's it like? What's it like to be a girl in the sports department? And I remember going to a Vikings game once when I was working way back in the late 90s and meeting Leslie Visser because there were so few women in the business and talking to her about just being a broadcaster, which should have been a really simple thing, and instead it was a monumentous thing because she was a female. And now we have a lot of females in the business. It's, it's common to see. It's no longer this novel thing to have to answer the questions about what's it like. It's just normal, and that's where we should be. And Lindsay, in the in the, the women's the game of women's basketball in that world and in that genre, it's also changed. It's also evolved the role for women. Absolutely, there's so many opportunities for us now. I mean, the WNBA, of course, has been great. I mean, we. We have a GM who's our, our head coach is also now GM in Cheryl Reeve and Claire DeWillius is also our assistant GM so it's really awesome to see just all the opportunities and just getting to be here today doing an NBA game with you guys I mean when I was growing up I would have never thought that that was a possibility for me and so all those doors have been opened by like you said all these great women and pioneers that have opened those doors it's really cool and it's a it's a special time and um, just want to keep working hard and doing as well as we can both you know, on the court and off the court and enjoying every moment as well. And you think about how great the NBA has been leading the way, and you, you think about the great ladies such as yourself, Kara Lawson in D.C. now, Doris Burke on a national level. Sarah there are, Kustak, yeah, Brooklyn. There are a lot of women who are making a name for themselves in the world of pro sports time, Adam, and the NBA and pro sports in general are much better for it. So 